name is Blessing and I have BTZ business owners like you to get more business deals with improved business English skills. Alright, welcome to this week edition, this week podcast. I want to say big thank you to you, to all my listeners, for where where you are. You are important to me. Thank you a lot. Enjoy the podcast. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me today. And before I start, I want to say a big thank you to all my listeners all the way from Germany. From United States, from Nigeria, from Mexico, from Oman, from India, from Jamaica, from Canada, from Egypt, from France, United Kingdom, Japan, Colombia, Italy, Vietnam, Honduras, Brazil, Philippines, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Spain, El Salvador, Peru, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, United Arab Emirates, Tunisia, Panama. Puerto Rico, Serbia, Venezuela, Bangladesh, Somalia, Guatemala, Hong Kong, Cameroon, Taiwan, Malta, Iraq, Turkey, Hungary, Guyana, Nicaragua, Pakistan, Havana, Congo, Costa Rica, Georgia, Kenya, Qatar, Morocco, Nepal, Thailand, Belarus, Ireland, IT, Azerbaijan, Zambia, Switzerland, Indonesia, New Zealand, Ghana, Republic of Moldova, St. Martin, Sri Lanka, Jewish Virgin Islands, Yemen, Zimbabwe, Denmark, Russia, and South Korea. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening to my podcast and thanks for sharing. I appreciate your good feedback every time. Thank you so much. Today, we're going to talk about bad business English sentence construction skills. So, I will ask you this question Are you ashamed of your bad business English sentence construction skills? You want to speak English fluently and confidently like a successful business owner. Then, what happens when you can construct simple sentences in English? Transporting yourself during business conversations. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast. You are putting in a lot of time and effort to let us construct simple English sentences. You think that you are not good enough because of your bad business English sentence construction skills. And that's one of the reasons why you say a few sentences in English and keep quiet. You don't want to be judged for saying or writing bad sentences in English. I will mean, give you some tips that you can try out and do not use the Steve's words. Use the Steve's for more than a month for you to get improvements. Alright, please do not forget to like, subscribe and share this podcast. And in case you want to grab free business English resources. Free business English resources. Okay. You can send me a message on Instagram with the word free. Free from podcast. Okay. In case you want free business English resources, send me a message with the word free from podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. All right, to meet with some business owners who want to construct good sentences in English, every business owner wants to be seen as a confident business owner. I have agree with you that you are confident in yourself and that's why you are making progress in your business or your businesses. You can learn how to construct good sentences in English. You can send me a message with the word podcast or on Instagram at Friendly Coach. Send me a message with the word podcast, B O D C A S T, on Instagram at Randolph Coach. However, you have a lot of meaningful English sentences in your mind, but you find it difficult to say them in English. Why? You don't want to be joyful, bad English sentence construction. You're scared of making mistakes. 
The truth is that no one will faint because of the mistake you make. Yeah, that's the truth. But you don't want your self-confidence to reduce. Your self-confidence is important to you and your business or your businesses because you are a business owner. So I will give you tips that you can use. And the tips won't work for you if you don't use them constantly. If you can learn how to construct good sentences in English, send a message with the word podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. In case you want to grab free business English resources to get more business deals, you can send me a message free. Send me a message with the word free from podcast. Free from podcast at Friendly Coach on Instagram. Okay. So I'm going to add a poll to every podcast from now on. So the poll for today is, have you ever gotten embarrassed due to bad English sentences? So it's a yes or no. Well, I've been embarrassed, yes. <laughs> so please try to just participate in the poll. I appreciate that. I appreciate your participation. Thank you. So let's continue. When will you stop embarrassing yourself with poor business English sentence construction skills during business meetings? Have a strong self-confidence in yourself and your business or businesses is necessary for you as a business owner. Every business owner has their strengths and weaknesses. No more embarrassment. Send my message with the word podcast on this to get my friendly coach. You have aspects in which you are self-confident and you have aspects in which you have lead to to know self-confidence. It's the same for every business owner. You are not alone. Okay, you are not the world right here. Okay? You don't feel limited when you do business with your native language. Your language is out of normal language you speak. Or how many native languages you speak. I don't know. But when you do business in English, you feel like you are limited. At times, you were just the words you want to say in English because you were scared of getting embarrassed. At times, you make bad sentences in English and you get impressed constantly. Now, as you know, I'm a business English coach for me to understand business owners. So, for me to understand business owners who want to stop getting embarrassed due to bad business English skills, you've come to the right place. No more embarrassment for you. You can send my message with the word podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. But you can also grab free business English resources to get more business deals. Send my muscle with the word free from podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. Have you been studying for how to enhance your business English sentence construction skills? One of the most important reasons your self confidence is important is that your clients and business partners can feel your confidence. You don't want to be limited by poor business English skills. No, 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 no. Get more business deals when improve business English skills. You can send a message with the word podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. Your words matter a lot to your clients and business partners. You can get access to these and more. Secrets that will help you conduct business matters in English easily. Specifically designed clues to help you get better business negotiation skills in English. One on one daily constant feedback, be your voice course to improve your confidence skills. How you sound natural with no stress and no difficulty. Most importantly, only present privacy for you and every sensitive information. I acknowledge privacy for you because you are an ultra high network business owner. Positive fluency mindset coaching. You need to have the right positive fluency mindset to get fast improvements in your business English skills. There are more benefits available that would help you get more business deals with improve business English skills. And please note, there are no group coaching programs available now. No, no, no. The VIP and Super VIP one-on-one coaching programs available are uh, for Middle Eastern business owners. And you can get more business deals when improve business English skills. Send a message with the word podcast on Instagram at Vendelay Coach. And you can also grab free business English resources to get more business deals. 
You can send me a message with the word free from Instagram at friendly coach. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is start away from constructing long and complex sentences in English to reduce your grammatical errors. And the next one is use keywords constantly for your listeners to understand you clearly. What I mean keyword, you know, right now I'm talking about bad business English construction skills. So most of the words of most of my sentences are based on business English sentence construction skills. So do you get it? I mean, the keyword, what do you want your clients to no. Okay, let's say if you were talking about a new product. So, all your sentences should revolve around the main keyword. I mean, that new product. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. So, avoid unnecessary words when consulting sentences in your mind or when writing sentences. The next one is use simple and straightforward language when constructing sentences. And the last one is use simple vocabulary to construct sentences. Simple vocabulary help you speak well or write well. It's as simple as that. Don't complicate it. All right, fine. I know you are speaking or writing a business email or you were speaking during a business event or a business conversation. Well, that doesn't mean that you need to complicate everything. No, 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 no. Just because it's business, that doesn't mean everything needs to be art. No. Okay, that's for joining me today. And I want to say big thank you once again to all my listeners all over the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. And in case you want this to help you improve your business English skills, in case some of us have the word podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. And in case you want to grab free business English resources for yourself, you can send me a message with the word free from podcast on Instagram at Friendly Coach. And what else do I have to say? Nothing more I'm about to say you are the best for listening to me. And up to this point, you are still the best. <laughs> All right, then. Bye. See you next time. Oh, thank you, my wonderful people. Thank you. Thank you. I'm saying a big thank you to you for listening to this podcast right from the beginning and to this point thank you <laughs> all right guess you want to give me feedback or you want to speak with me or you want to work with me you can share me out on instagram at friendly girls on twitter at friendly girls on facebook at friendly girls and on linkedin blessing and ladies on me blessing and ladies on me okay or you can search for business english coach for business owners on linkedin business english coach for business owners then you will see my name blessing and ladies on me all right or you can check out my website www.friendlylycoach.com www.friendlylycoach.com dot com and see you next week